right, so uh, we got another feature of a, a, a basement bum, I believe. I like doing these sometimes. Sometimes there's some buried treasure in here. They don't all have to be winners, you know what I mean? Yeah. Sometimes it's fun to rummage through the, the rubble. <laughs> all right, okay, we'll start with the waffle. It says, hi, Remy. I apologize for the response. A couple of days turned into a couple of weeks. Anyways, I hope you like my horribly awesome tats these are older about 20 to 15 ish years old the dragon bones logo the fox and crossbones and vamp skull bracelet thing were done by someone else i covered my arm at first to hide bird marks from uh, an explosion at work slowly becoming a little better each time crazy um the big black tribal mess was the first attempt of something messed up and covered into what you see turtle my leg turned out pretty good just needs some co some more color uh but then again whatever the left hand was crazy hard but i'm right-handed so the machine felt really weird the end needs another pass but it is what it is i also have an unfinished back piece i'll try to get that to you i'm sure you'll enjoy these uh take care oh there's another one mm -hmm. uh Two -parter. These are a couple tattoos I did on three other people. Also uh, found the fresh tattoo of the bomb on my leg with the turtle. First is a seahorse done freehand because the stencil wiped away. It laughed out loud. Not really funny. Second is the husband's tattoo. Sorry if it offends, but it's what it is. Turned out cool in my opinion. Third is a story book type tattoo I did on my cousin's wrist. Well, I don't know that I'm going to be able to tell any of these apart, so let's just have at her. Here we have the Confederate flag Grim Reaper. This is the, uh, assuming this is might the, offend. the offensive one. Yeah, people take offense to this. But like in Canada, it's sort of lost on us here. There's, there's a lot more hot button issues in America than there is in Canada. In Canada, the people who run around with Confederate flags are these like weird misled cowboys who think they're rebels. Are there people that do it here? Yeah, there are. I, I grew up with a friend who her dad was like really into the whole rebel thing, but he wasn't like he wasn't racist or anything. I just think he had like this like misconstrued idea of what it represented. I, I mean, it's yeah, I don't know. These things aren't the same thing here at any rate no but there was some uh there was some other tattoo that there was like a fuck the police tattoo or something it was like a, a symbol or like a certain combination of let words or letters or something and it flew over kevin and i's head completely oh, yeah, like cool. neither one of us had any idea what it was and it was just like, oh, well, I guess Canada isn't as polarized as the States anyway. Right, or we just have no idea about, like, gangs or, like, symbols or stuff like as that. As far as the Reaper goes, he's fun. Yeah, but, I think, uh, he's, like, he's, he seems to be done not too poorly. You know, if it ever gets to a place where you're offending too many people, you can just black out the robe, and he's got a black robe now. Yeah, and he's perfectly fine that way. Yeah, and that might be the safest bet if you don't want to offend people. Right, um, yeah, we don't need to see more of this guy. I think that's... Then we have a very, very glowy monkey and ladybug monkey. Yeah, I think it's Curious George, Is this maybe? Curious George? I don't know. She said storybook. They said storybook characters. You know, I don't know what gender Right we off the hop, I want to say this is better than I was expecting in terms of the... Basement the... tattooer. <laughs> yeah, these aren't too bad. No, I know. They're not awful. Yeah, they, these are... You know, the photo is horrible in this case. This, these are actually the kind of tattoos that you see these and you're like, hmm, I might pull you into my shop. Although, like, yeah, the uh, the ladybug monkey there got, like, derp face more than the, than George or whoever the fuck that, that right. brown one is there. He, Yeah, that, that face didn't come out as good. It looks a little bit, like, messed up. But. Yeah, I just think the problem with it is that they just tried to go too small. Oh, that's always going to be the case yeah. with small faces. And you always think it's going to be good until you get there and then you're like, oh, nuts. It's kind of adorable. <laughs> so, what else have we got here? Uh, what time bomb. Bomb? A time bomb? Yeah. Uh, okay. That's like more like dynamite, right? Yeah, but it's like on time. Uh, What was the idea with the shading? <laughs> I don't know. It's like... 
they went for yellow shading or something, but they didn't get it in there at all. Like around the outside? Yeah. I think yellow is really hard to tell if you've gotten uh, it in yeah, there, right? Yeah, but that's not in there. No, I know, but that's what I'm saying. Like, I think that sometimes it's really hard to know if you've gotten it in. Well, I can tell you for a fact that they didn't get this in. Oh, they definitely did they not. They had a, like, a kind of a cool idea with how they broke up the, the lighting around that explosion, though. Yeah. Like, that was a kind of neat way to... I also kind of find it a bummer um, that on the the sticks of dynamite or whatever on themselves, it looks like like the shading is kind of cool, but they look more like licorice to they, me. Uh, I just think that they they somehow like muddied their their black or gray with the red, like it just got really muddy in there. It's just yeah. maybe a not quite knowing what you're doing yeah, for maybe. shading yet. I don't know. Looks like Twizzlers to me. Yeah, the licorice sticks. Seahorse is pretty. Horses. You no know, decent enough. Like these are better than what most. Like there, there are actual shops in this city doing worse work than this. Yeah, in there our shouldn't city be. For sure. Like you should, that shouldn't be a thing that I'm saying. But I, I actually kind of like the color of uh, the the purple and the green. Green, there. obviously, the purple is not solid. The that's green not, is a little more solid. The purple again, it's like one of those colors with a strong white in there, though, and that's mm -hmm. like I've experienced this. It's hard to Tough get to in the saturate. skin. Yeah. Um. The other thing, like, as I said before, this is one of those artists that you're like, man, you're doing this good on your own. I would, like, someone should be pulling them into their shop. This is the thing that he did on himself, the green, the tribal. black tribal thing that was one of the first things he did, he said. I think yeah. that's what he said. It's not that bad compared to some of the shit that we've seen, but it's, it's, it's pretty ugly. Obviously, it's pretty ugly. Like, but, I mean... To have done this on yourself and it's 15 or 20 years old. Yeah, I think they did a really good job of it. That's not too bad. I, I mean, I mean, I don't know what else to say. It could have been a hell of a lot worse. Right. All of this, though, when you see the other side, that looks pretty bad. Now, yeah. now we're getting into the hand skull and yeah, yeah a lot of now that's... We're the crossbones on the arm and all this other stuff. Yeah. Now we're getting into the scratch. This character. is the real junk. This is kind of what I was expecting to see. Yeah, it's and a little harder to tattoo getting, yourself. We're getting more into the room territory now, too. Yeah. We've got some boxes on the floor here and, you know, staining. <laughs> Patton. In oh, a really man. not well done rose. You know, this is the worst one, and it seems like it probably had the most meaning so far. I know. I'm kind of, like, I'm bummed because, yeah, it looked really promising, but, like, this doesn't even look anything like a rose. Whoever Patton is, he got done dirty here. <laughs> I think it's Peyton. I think it's, it says Patton. Is that a Y or a T? I think it's supposed to be a Y. I don't know. Whatever. Peyton. Patton. Right. Well, it's a hell of a lot better to do this Ninja Turtle on your leg than it is on your face. That's all I want to say. Right <laughs> Back to the face, turtle. Yeah. At least yeah. You, there was someone that came into the comments is vehemently telling me uh, that that wasn't real. But I've seen more. That guy's done more now. He's done part of his shoulder and chest, too. Mm -hmm. That Ninja Turtle guy, he's he's going for it. Interesting. And he has shit that he's trying to cover up with some of that green too. Interesting. So it's gonna be it's gonna be a wild ride. I, I'm expecting to see more updates as that goes on. Right. Um, this is pretty terrible, but yeah, this is the place for it. Again, it's not as bad as I was expecting. It's easier to tattoo your own legs. I though. questioned the hard outline and the general shape of them. Yeah. But I'm not gonna grade it too. Too poorly some of this stuff was done freehand too right like they had said that their stencil had wiped off on one of them the negative eyes give uh donatello here an unintended evil look very sinister donatello is pretty chill right? like he was the wise man but right? i think this like these uh kind of <laughs> early 2000s turtles if i recall didn't have the eyes they had the like i don't know i don't know if they eyes. were ever completely negative space but oh, i thought they were this turtle looks possessed he's kind of creepy right like like he looks like the evil like bizarro donatello or something i think he's like the grumpiest one out of all of them though. is he yeah i don't think so i think he's like the wise soft-spoken one i, always I think raphael's was... got the chip on his shoulder and then michelangelo is uh Goofy. the party animal and then yeah. leonardo's the leader and then uh, donatello is the wise man I think oh, that's the idea. I guess you're right. Yeah, Raph is usually the chip. Ah, okay. Yeah, well, he's he's the the guy with the temper. I would just say that <laughs> Raphael and and Donatello would you know they would be the bad guys if they were. Uh, I don't know about Don. I think Donatello's you know he's 
chill. He's got the staff. He's, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, it's an uh, interesting schmorg. And uh, if you can find your back, a picture of your back piece, let's have it. Right. It looks like fun. <laughs>